Welcome everybody, my name is John Crable. I am the lead instructor of Business Ethics BMGT 2216. I wanted to come today and describe what we're really trying to accomplish with the Business Ethics Project. We're going to give you guys two different paths that you can proceed down with this assessment, with this project. And it is completely up to you about which path that you choose. So first of all, as you log in and, and you either look at Business Ethics Project or the Student Designed Project, uh, those are those, those two separate paths. The first, the Business Ethics Project, you are going to compare a local, small, even regional company uh, of your choosing, and then you're going to compare and contrast them with a large, multinational, global company in that same industry. So let's talk about, it could be like Thurman's Cafe down in German Village, comparing them to McDonald's, right? Something like that. And what we're really trying to accomplish is, is we're trying to see is um, can that small operator that we think is more community focused, that we believe gives more back to stakeholders, are they really doing as good a job as that large multinational that while we always think is impersonal and sterile, is uh, they're giving a ton of money. They're giving millions upon tens of millions of dollars back to local communities, education, employees, healthcare, things like that. So you're going to run through the entire semester comparing them on CSR and marketing and sustainability. Uh, and that is the first component of the business ethics project. The second option that is available to any student if they so choose is going to be a student design project where you take a, a, a core passion of yours and you try to uh, impact change over the course of this semester. Uh, and let me give you a couple examples. So recently we have seen uh, plastic straws become banned or a, a plan for removal from a lot of huge uh, restaurant chains uh, and service providers. So not only Starbucks, but McDonald's and, and places like that are going to start replacing plastic straws. And this was just started from a YouTube video uh, of a turtle, if you haven't seen it. And this ground swell of, of emotion and passion to try and rid the world of a social problem. Uh, there's also a lot of things that you see uh, that are military focused. Um, you see changes in democracy happening. A lot of different things uh, that can come into play uh, with the social component. So in business ethics, we want to give you that opportunity to not only de describe and define the, the social problem that you are passionate about, but a way to impact change. Uh, or the next 15 weeks. So he, here's what I'm going to give you a little bit more information on this. You're going to be judged or, or graded on a wide variety of criteria, but it is a student designed project that your instructor will check off on, agree, ask critical questions with, and really push you on, right? So we're going to look at benchmarks that you're going to have to create your own benchmarks. You're going to have to create the questions that you want to ask and why you're asking those questions. We can use the F ethical framework uh, decision-making model to help go through that process. We want to see what that end goal is that you are really trying to push for, and we want to have that always out there in the future uh, to, to be coming back and to be judging you on as we go through this process. So how are you going to be graded for a student design project? There's a lot of different criteria, and I want to go through them really quickly here, and you can read them um, uh, on the on the PowerPoint to the side. So first of all, just the actual design of what the project looks like. Asking key knowledge and understanding all the different components of it. Uh, we want you to not only to uh, know what the key components are, but ask the critical questions and identify those at the beginning so that you have a path to go forward and actually uh, measure yourself against. We also want to have this be a sustained effort. So this is not a activity. This is not a classroom exercise. This is a, a wholly uh, inclusive project that you will be working on, breaking down into different groups, uh, but you are going to be working on it for probably 12, 13, 14 weeks. Uh, so it's going to be big from this component. We're also going to look at authenticity, making sure that it's not some, that you're not piggybacking on somebody else's work. So if you already work at a charity or a nonprofit, 
we're not going to have you just continue with that. You have to do something more. You have to be able to amplify it into the future. Uh, we want to make sure that you have a clear student voice and that it is heard um, throughout this entire process, uh, not only in, in the design phase, but also how you carry it through and how you make that voice heard. We want to look at reflection. Uh, this is not only looked at all the different benchmarks that you're going to come up with and provide, but then at the end, provide assessment of what worked and what didn't work at specific points in time. We're going to look at critique and revision from the instructor standpoint. Uh, we are going to provide that critique at the beginning and make sure you have the ability to ask the right questions and get the right answers. But then at each one of those benchmarks, we're going to provide feedback as well. And lastly, this is going to be a public product. Uh, public project. And the reason for that is if we are impacting change, we're going to hold you accountable to have some type of demonstration, some type of presentation that you can put out uh, at the end of this. Now, that could be a, a physical presentation to a classroom. That could be holding an event on campus. That could be uploading uh, videos to YouTube that document the process and the final product. It could be a creation of a website. It's going to be specific to what you want to get out of this and what you need to get out of this. So why are we doing this? First of all, uh, I think it's great to, um, when students are passionate about something, to let them run with it, to let them really focus and, 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 and see what they can uh, dream up and then achieve. But two, we're also giving you guys a lot of flexibility. And with that flexibility comes a lot of responsibility to not only uh, identify and ask key questions, but also follow through on a day-to-day -day basis, on a week-to-week -week basis, and uh, we can give you the guardrails, but you're really going to have to to dial yourself in to what this looks like. Um, so anyway, that's my introduction for it. If you have specific questions for your instructor, please direct it back to them. They will be signing off on, on the beginning part of this, the benchmarks, and making sure that you have a solid plan to go forward. So with that, uh, thank you for your time today. Uh, if you have any questions on the project, feel free to reach out and ask, and uh, we'll see what you guys can produce. Have a great day.